Right now, farewell celebrations continue as the nation's capital gets ready to say bye bye to baby. Did you see his hand wave? I, I kind of felt like he was saying bye bye. <laughs> this is a live look he at the panda you. cam. <laughs> look how cute that is. <laughs> well, you know, this is the last full day. The beloved giant panda is there at the National Zoo. It's really hard to believe. And tomorrow he will be on a plane to China. But for now, he's just kicking up his feet, relaxing. Victoria Sanchez is live at the National Zoo in Victoria. You caught up with some of Bebe's youngest fans today. I bet you they have great messages for him. I I, I did, and you know, I always feel that they are the best ones because they tell the absolute truth. Wheels up tomorrow at 12. But before that happened, people here at the National Zoo came by to say goodbye, snap some photos and some selfies. I spoke with one boy who says he's a little sad that his friend is leaving. 13 year old Tyler Womer stands quietly in the panda house, taking in the last time he'll see Bebe in person. I love them. I mean, I've like been with them for so long that I just have seen them grow. In fourth grade, he suggested Bebe as the virtual class pet and has kept tabs on him ever since. Kind of like a proud parent. Uh, yeah, I did it. I feel it sometimes. Tyler isn't alone in feeling bittersweet. I think I'm really going to be sad and I'm going to miss Bebe. But I do know that whenever pandas turn four, they have to go back to China. Bebe is moving to help contribute to the global panda population. Well, baby pandas. On his 8,500 mile flight in the Panda Express, Bebe will have some in cabin snacks and plenty of time to do what he loves. Pandas really like to sleep a lot. Tyler lingered a little longer before his last goodbye. But he knows Bebe has a bright future ahead of him. I'm sad to see him go. I'm also kind of happy because I'm just, he'll be making babies. All three of the zoo's pandas have gone inside for the night. It is a little bit chilly out here. The goal is to have Bebe reproduce when he gets old enough. Right now he's four and that could happen when he's between the ages of five and seven. The goal is to have those pandas be released into the wild. Live at the National Zoo, Victoria Sanchez, ABC 7 News. Okay, Victoria, thank you. And check this out, a time-lapse video of that special FedEx plane that will take Bebe to his new home in China, a panda decal of course put right there on the side of the plane and here's a look at Bebe's long journey across the globe he will take off from Dulles Airport tomorrow afternoon and it will be a 16 hour direct flight aside from the panda keeper the veterinarian and the crew on board there will also be 66 pounds of bamboo to keep Bebe happy I'm glad no layovers Bebe's better than that <laughs> <laughs> all right we've posted some of the most memorable moments in